Hey guys, I'm Zelda Master, and today we're going to be taking a much closer look at the new Zelda Breath of the Wild trailer that was revealed during the Nintendo Switch presentation just yesterday. This trailer has been by far the most intense in terms of story and emotion. The trailer sets the setting for the game and finally answers some of our theories and speculations we've had. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now the trailer starts off pretty slow, before building up into this roller coaster of emotions. It starts off with a bunch of different scenery of nature. First, a vast ocean where you can spot a Sheikah shrine from afar, as well as Death Mountain. Leading on to shore, where we don't see much life aside from the gulls flying around. Next we see a scene of a waterfall with many palm trees surrounding it. On to a scene of a desert, with the Sheikah tower that can be seen from afar in the distance. From there we see snowy mountains, with the white fox just chilling. So far it's been nothing but peaceful. And now, onto a forest, where immediately you can spot several Koroks in the scene, leading to the pedestal that holds the Master Sword. This time, we know where it's located at, and that is in front of the Great Deku Tree. It's also worth mentioning that the Master Sword seems to be glowing a strange blue color. Even though it's worn out and rusted, the Master Sword is still very much alive, and plays an even bigger role than what we expect it to, but I'll get into that in another video. Anyways, from here the trailer plays a couple scenes from an idea of what's to come in Link's upcoming journey. As we see Link staring down Hyrule Castle and Calamity Ganon, knowing his destiny is but to stop it, but he still has great hardships to overcome before reaching there, so he sets off, running and climbing and running and climbing some more. And now is where the voice acting comes into play. A woman's voice, who I want to say is an older woman's voice, says, The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of the Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This quote is the legend we know today. The story of how the goddess was reincarnated into a mortal form and saved by the destined hero from evil's grasps, starting life on the surface known as Hyrule and establishing its royal family, forever cursing the royal family and its destined hero, with Demise's curse. So this quote isn't anything new. From there we see a Sheikah Tower rise, and from this point on of the trailer, everything picks up. Link sees Calamity getting atop the tower, as the scene shows of the many enemies spawned by its evil. From there we see Link run past a Guardian's laser beam, then dodging a giant boulder from the giant rock enemy we've seen in the E3 demo. As well as a scene of Link skiing through the sand while latched onto some sort of walrus looking pig, while also a giant sand fish snake that seems to resemble Mulgara from the Wind Waker emerges out from the sand. With then Link using runes to create giant blocks as platforms, shielding his way through heavy fire being unleashed by some armored looking Lizelfo, while also Link being covered in armor. And then a giant one-eyed moblin that fails to club Link, with another scene of Link parrying this mysterious enemy's attack. But unlike the enemies we've seen so far, this one seems to stand out out of the rest, mainly because of the mask that's on its face. It has the eye of the Sheikah. Clearly this enemy is of importance. Whether my theory on the Sheikah being evil was right in some way, or this being some sort of trial by the Sheikah similar to their Sheikah trials, or even if Calamity's Ganon's curse could have affected them to be evil in this way, clearly this enemy is one to keep an eye on. Get it? Cause I... <sighs> Whatever. From there we get a scene of Link using the rune magic to control a giant boulder as he destroys his enemy's path, as well as exploding explosive barrels with a fire arrow. Then a scene where Link stands in front of a weirdly shaped Sheikah device where he places the Sheikah Slate to activate it. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's going to activate a shrine or a tower, but it's hard to tell exactly. Next we see a giant pillar of sorts right outside the wall of Hyrule Castle where Calamity Ganon lies. This giant pillar is similar to the markings we've seen on the Sheikah Towers, but glow red similar to Calamity Ganon and the activated Guardians. And from there we see Link jumping off a cliff gliding onto the horizon, then showing a town with people walking around, as well as another scene of a Gerudo-like town. I'm not sure if it's a town per se, but it clearly has something to do with the Gerudo, as we can see the Gerudo symbol right outside the wall. 
onto a scene of some dead trees in the ruined castle town we've seen before, but this time with a guardian walking by. And onto a scene with Link on a raft, with more voice acting, this time from the Great Deku Tree. And he says, That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. This being the story of the rise of Calamity Ganon, leading to how Link was killed, and how he was reawakened from the Shrine of Resurrection at the start of the game. With it showing a scene of a giant guardian-like creature, with flaming feet as it climbs a mountain, making the guardian seem like nothing compared to its massive scale. Next up you see Link worried behind Zelda, as it then shows Link running through a rotating room. I have a feeling this room might be from one of the Sheikah Trials? As then we see a scene of Zelda in water. She seems to be wearing a white dress as she's bathing in some sort of ruined spring. Though you can clearly tell that she's standing in front of a goddess statue. With the next scene of Link doing a 180 turn with the Master Sword, seems that something is behind him. And then a scene straight out of Shadow of the Colossus. Or at least seems like it. We see a giant four-legged beast that resembles the Guardians and the Sheikah Towers by design as it marches its way through the desert. I'm honestly really curious on how we'll be able to interact with such a giant creature, unless it no longer exists. Next we get a scene of Link staring at Zelda as she sits in a foggy and gloomy setting, leading to one of the Sheikah Trials coming out of the ground to a scene where Link lets go of Zelda's hands as in he lost grip. With then a scene of Zelda looking back in despair, as the next scene is of Hyrule Castle burning to ashes, with guardians running all around, with her voice saying, Everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. Showing how bad of a hit Hyrule took in the hundred years prior to Link being resurrected. This scene shows how dark the game will be, and how dark of a story it already has. As the next scene we see Zelda run off, and the scene after that, Link standing with some new characters in front of a weirdly shaped ruined building. So far the only character we can recognize from the trailer is that walrus like pig standing next to the red haired woman on the far right. As we then see Zelda crying into Link's arms, as Link's facial expression looks just as defeated. This must be the time when everything went into ruin and before Link was killed. But then we see the hero's upcoming adventure. Scenes of him fighting off enemies as well as new characters. Such as this new Goron character who yells, here it comes, as he claps his hands together and blue fire sparks from around him. Here it comes! With another scene of Link gliding, but this time onto a similar statue that we've seen from the Desert Colossus in Ocarina of Time. And then a scene of a great fairy emerging from a pond to a quick scene of Link on horseback, and then showing the face of that red-haired woman we saw standing next to Link before, with her being one of the Gerudo, as we saw the Gerudo symbol earlier in the trailer as well. Then showing off a Zora character standing tall, and as you may notice, these Zoras are redesigned to be red, which I find really cool, unlike blue as we know them as. Onto a scene of more puzzles that could be from the shrine, as well as another scene of Azora, but this time a female one, which could possibly be the queen of Zoras. And it's worth noting that both the female Zora and the Goron shown earlier are both wearing a blue scarf, similar to the bird shown in the next scene, which we've already seen in the Life in the Ruins trailer. These blue scarves could indicate that they are part of Hyrule and its people, even though they are other races besides Hylian, like an alliance of all the races being the symbol that unifies them together. But anyways, the next scene is of another Zora giving Link a handshake, leading to a super intense and serious scene of Zelda using some sort of light power as she yells no. This could be using whatever she had in her to save Link. Then cutting into a scene of her staring into the horizon, where you can see Hyrule Castle from afar, and an old man saying, You must save her, my daughter. This most likely being the King of Hyrule telling Link to save Zelda. With the final scene showing Link beat up in front of Zelda, pulling up the Master Sword as it's all rusted, trying to fight with whatever he has left. Before revealing the release date of the game, which happens to be March 3rd, which I am so excited for, it's less than two months away guys. With also a very minor glimpse of Zelda praying to the Great Deku Tree.
Anyways, they throw in one last teaser of Zelda saying open your eyes and Link opening his eyes, similar to what we've seen during the E3 gameplay and how the game is most likely going to start out with Link awakening in the Shrine of Resurrection. But anyways, that's pretty much it for my like in-depth analysis of the trailer. Hopefully you guys caught on to a couple things you may have not noticed watching it the first time. And if I did happen to maybe miss out on anything, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun dissecting this little trailer. And I can't wait for more content that has to do with Breath of the Wild. I do plan on covering whatever else Nintendo has planned on showing for Breath of the Wild. So do look forward to that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. And how excited you are for this game. Personally, I can't imagine anything I'm more excited for than this game. Like, March 3rd is the day where I can finally go in and play this game. I cannot wait. The game looks like it's complete from what we've seen in this trailer. Like, we've seen a lot of backstory and a lot of gameplay and just overall an idea of what the game is actually going to be about. So, now we know what we're jumping into and I can't wait to finally jump into it. Anyways, thank you all again so much for watching. That about does it for this video. Stay on the lookout for more Breath of the Wild videos in the future. I do actually have a couple discussion-like videos coming up in the near future. Maybe even later today. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like. Be subscribed for more content. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!